morning, everyone, and welcome to Rhymers Will Be Readers for Friday, February 25th, 2022. I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. It's a little bit chilly out. And have you looked out your window yet this morning? There's so much snow coming down in the big, beautiful, fluffy flakes. And you know what? I can actually hear the wind in my home blowing around and going, woo, woo. So it's it's all very dramatic weather, which I really like actually. I, I always enjoy dramatic weather. So it's a, it's a lot of fun, but it's also really beautiful with the big fluffy flakes. So I hope that at some point today that you can get out and enjoy the snow. Even if it's blowing all around, it can be a lot of fun and you can pretend to be a snowflake. So I thought we could start with our welcome song. So join me with your hands and your feet and we can clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello with all our friends from early on. We clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends from early on, we wave and sing hello. Let's see if I can actually stomp my feet this morning. Can you see me? <gasps> we stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With all our friends from early on, we stomp and sing hello. So once again, good morning and happy Friday and happy snowy Friday as well. And so I was wondering, did you know that when our little ones are learning about themselves, it's actually a really important part of their social emotional development. And so when they're learning about what their body can do and learning about even their place in the family, it's a part of a social emotional development and figuring out their identity, even sometimes separate from mom and dad, figuring out who am I? What do I like? What do I enjoy? And so some of the songs and, and rhymes that we've done this week leads a little one to figuring out who they are and what they enjoy and also enjoying who they are as well and enjoying their place in their family, whatever their family looks like. So a poem that we may have heard this week already, I'd like to, I'd like to do again. And it goes, my hands are for clapping. My arms can hug tight or can turn off the light or turn on the light. My legs are for jumping. My eyes, they help me see. This is my body and I love all of me. Let's do that one again because it's an important piece to think about how we can be grateful for the body that we've been given and grateful for who we are and grateful for what our body allows us to do. So my hands are for clapping. My arms can hug tight or could turn off or on the light. My legs are for jumping. My eyes help me see. This is my body and I love all of me. And did you know that when children are seeking their independence and saying, please let me do it, mom, or let me do it, or my turn, that actually is something also that they're learning about themselves and learning about how they fit in the world, learning what they like, and figuring out what they can do as they seek their independence, another important part of their social emotional development. Sometimes it can be challenging for us as adults when it's, I can do it, I can do it, and it can take more time. I've learned over time that sometimes singing through transitions or singing through songs really can help a little one as they're learning their independence and as they're figuring out their identity and their place in the world. So I have a song that says that's about all by myself. I will do my best with the tune and it goes, all by myself, all by myself. See what I can do, see what I can do. I can brush my teeth and my hair so neat. I can put on my socks and my shoes on my feet. I can get my napkin and a snack to eat all by myself, 
all by myself. So you can see even that song, it gives a sense of pride, which is a healthy sense of pride of this is what I can do. Look, mom and dad, or look, grandma and grandpa, or look, brother and sister, look how much I've grown up and look at what I can do, which is again, that other piece of figuring out their identity and who they are as a little one and where they fit and learning what they can do. So here's another verse. It goes, all by myself, all by myself, see what I can do, see what I can do. I can clean up my toys, I can ride my bike, I can kick a ball and match pictures alike, I can read a book and sing songs that I like, all by myself, all by myself. So I encourage you as parents that even though sometimes it takes a little bit of extra time, is that what you're actually doing when you give your children choices or singing through a moment or trying to express their independence by doing some of these activities we just sang about, you're actually giving a solid foundation for their social emotional development and their sense of self. So it's really important. And I also acknowledge it can be really challenging, but it can also be fun if you use a song that goes along with it. So thinking about that, sometimes a song that I've used during transitions and to help a little one move through those transitions is this is the way we brush our teeth brush our teeth brush our teeth this is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning how about hmm, this is the way we comb our hair comb our hair comb our hair this is the way we comb our hair so early in the morning how about what else do we do when we go outside? On a day like today, we for sure wear a jacket. So this is the way I put on my jacket, put on my jacket, put on my jacket. This is the way I put on my jacket to go outside today. This is the way I put on my boots, put on my boots, put on my boots. This is the way I put on my boots to go outside and play. So that is one way that I found has worked really well to help a little one figure out what are we doing? Where are we going and what's happening as you're trying to move them through daily routines and also get out the door. And sometimes it just really helps to just make it fun and silly by singing a song. Sometimes that's the tune I chose because it's the tune that comes to my head, but feel free to change up the tune as well as you're helping your little one get ready for the day. It can be a lot of fun. You can pick a tune that, that is unique to you and unique to your family um, as well. So one piece too is that building that sense of self and building that sense of enjoying yourself is an important piece to highlight for your little one. And so I have another little song and it goes, I am special, I am special, look at me, look at me, a very special person, a very special person, that is me, that is me. This is one song that you can use with your little one and start a conversation about what makes them special. Even what you see in them that, they, that you see makes your little one special and they can also start to express themselves about what they enjoy about themselves. And it builds that, that solid foundation of social emotional development and that sense of self and identity. Let's sing it again. It goes, I am special, I am special. Look at me, look at me. A very special person, a very special person. That is me, that is me. So I have a couple of things to tell you about, but before I tell you that, I'm gonna give you your challenge for today and the weekend. I want you to sit down with your little one and tell a story about your family that's unique to your family. It can be fun, it can be humorous, it can be 
serious about, you know, some families came from far away and have come to Canada and come to Ontario and have settled here. Some families have silly stories about how they found their house or how they met their, their husband or their partner as well. And those can be uh, stories that you share with each other ongoing as you as you're with with each other as a family that's unique to your family and gives that sense of this is who our family is um, i know my family has many stories that often have a lot of humor attached to it because our family loves to laugh so that's one example that you can try with with your family today is think of a story that you kind of want to keep passing on to each other um, as well, or even creating stories and creating memories uh, together as your children grow. So the big, big announcement that I'm so excited to tell you about, if you haven't already heard, we at Oxford Early On are launching our indoor programs starting next week, Tuesday, March 1st, and we cannot wait to see you and your child in person. The whole Oxford Early On team has been preparing and been so excited, looking forward to be able to see you in person. So check out Keon. You go to the count when you log into Keon, you go to the calendar, choose Oxford County from the region drop down menu, then choose Indoor Explorers from Early On Center, the drop down menu, to register for whichever program is coming to your town. We are going all over Oxford County starting next week, and we are so excited. The other piece that I wanted to share with you is that Infant Massage is happening also starting next week in person. It will be starting on Monday, February 28th. And so if you have a child between the ages of birth to 12 months, please register. Today is the last day to register for, for the infant massage in person. So once again, so excited to see everybody in person. We have been waiting for this for a while, um, as you have too. And so we look forward to it so much. So it's actually already time to say goodbye. So we'll use our hands that we have been given and are grateful for our bodies to be able to use our hands to sing. We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this. With all our friends from early on, we clap goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. With all our friends from early on, we wave goodbye like this. And we stomp goodbye like this. We stomp goodbye like this. With all our friends from early on, we stomp goodbye like this. Thank you for joining me this morning for Rhymers Will Be Readers. Until next time, and hopefully we'll see you next week somewhere in your community. Have a great day.